a snap. Oh yeah. That's right, keyed up. <laughs> We're cranking up the lights now. So everyone can see. It's all happening right now. We're gonna make you believe. It's about to get crazy. It's about to go down. It's about to get crazy. We're here at Blackrock, um, where they make their coffee actually, the HQ. Blackrock's super legit out here, uh, and so it's very community based, which just kind of fits in really well with what we do. And the fact that they're like 10 miles away from our home base, it's kind of perfect. So we're going to do, do, do some tastings here today and see if we're on the right path because we told them, look, we're Phil's coffee fans, can you guys match that? And they're like, I think we got you guys, so let's see how it goes. You're starting to push then into the carbonization of that, so that you're pushing the sugars a little further and it gets into the carbonization, which isn't bad. I mean, that's there's a lot of people that like that carbonization mm -hmm. flavor. That carbonization flavor is where mainstream coffee drinkers kind of go to. All this to say is I think we're, yeah, you're gonna get closer here in these next couple of rounds where, you know, that mainstream coffee drinker, the the coffee maker in the morning person is gonna be sitting. Well, what is this here? So this is gonna be a blend of Ethiopian and Colombian. What was that last one? Uh, last one was, what was the last one? It was, it was, it was a blend. Yeah, it was a blend of Ethiopian and Timor, medium light. We really liked the last one. Yes, the last one. We decided to come up, well, if I'm gonna be in Bend and if you're gonna be in Portland, you're gonna be in California, let's come up with a shared name and create a dummy company and um, you know, we'll just share a name, we'll have some economies of scale. And so we did that, we came up with Blackrock. Um, you know, Blackrock comes from like Blackrock Maui and then we had it on a, the story's actually kind of interesting. We wanted a name that didn't have meaning already. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to, you know, kind of looking in the future, it's like we didn't want to have like mud, mud slingers or you know, something that's <laughs> kind of silly like Java this or whatever. If we were successful, we would give meaning to the name. And so we just had that. We had Blackrock along with a bunch of other names kind of on a list and we would go like to restaurants and just see, you know, the server like, which one are you drawn to? And like 80% of the people picked Blackrock and so we were like, cool. And still never just thinking that it would ever take off. We like, I was like, yeah, I'll have one or two or three coffee shops in my, you know, great. To be successful, you need, you need to have the operational DNA, you need to have the development know-how to actually like go through permitting and get a store open. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you've got to have that business savvy to be able to run a business. And it's rare that all three of those exist. Usually somebody's got maybe one or two and not the third. Yeah, so the way I'm gonna know is I'm gonna start off my morning, I, well, I start my morning every day with like a cup and a half or two cups of coffee and then I'll do a scoop and a half of the cookies and cream progenics and then a tablespoon of butter. So it's like my bulletproof coffee with protein. Mm -hmm. And that is, and then like I, I mix it um, in those little Oscar little milkshake mixers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so I'll be able to definitely get a feel for that. But, um, cause I, I can mean, tell the difference. It's hard to make that not taste good. Well, it's, yeah. I mean, actually, I, there's a huge difference even from, and I'm just comparing coffee to this point, right? When I use Pike mm -hmm. coffee, and then if I use yeah. like a Phil's coffee, there's a huge difference. I mean, it's still good, yep. but I know right away, oh, okay, like you can taste the coffee in it mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm excited to try it out with this. I feel like people really like latching on to shows that have like so many seasons because they're like, okay, this is going to keep me entertained for yes. a while. Right. And so uh, we like to compare our stuff to, uh, there's like a show called, uh, what's it called? Uh, Pipe Piper? Oh, Silicon Valley. Have you ever oh, watched yes. that show? It's watched so oh, funny and it's God. very accurate. Because I lived in, in that area yeah, for yeah. years. It's very accurate. I've heard that a lot. So, on the way home from Wadapalooza, um, 
on our flights. So we had two flights. One was like to Texas and then Texas to Portland. Um, on the Texas to Portland flight, the guy next to me on the plane was reading Kalipa's book. And I made a joke to him. I was like, hey, if you want some insider behind the scenes info on that book, just let me know. And then that's it, that's all I said. And he was like, ha ha ha, okay. And then he actually got to the page where Jason, I saw that you know, he was sitting next to me, it was a pretty long flight. He got to the page um, where Jason talked about me tearing my ACL at the games. And I was like, that. so I nudged him and I was like, that girl who tore her ACL at the games right there, I'm like, that was me. And he was like, wait, what? And then he still didn't say anything to me really afterwards. I think he was really confused. <laughs> um, and then as we were waiting to get off the plane, he was like, so, so you're Miranda? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, oh, okay, okay. He's like, yeah. Um, he's like, so Jason mentioned that you have like a business now. What do you do? You, what do you do here? Like, do you live here now? And I was like, yeah, you know, we live here, and um, we have an online fitness subscription that we started, and it's going pretty well. And he's like, wait, do you guys own street parking? And I was like, yeah, we do. And he's like, that's so cool. I know so many people who do it. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. What do you do here? And he's like, oh, my family and I, we own like a small coffee company and we have some locations up here. And I was like, oh, that's cool. What's it called? He's like, uh, Black Rock. And I was like, what? I'm like, that's not a small coffee company. So both of us kind of like slightly downplayed what we have going on up here. But, uh, and then that was it. He took a selfie with me and Julian um, as we were getting off the plane and he tagged us in a post and, you know, we reached out to him and said it was nice to meet you. And we were like, how cool would it be if we could like, I don't know, get some free coffee or I don't know, whatever. <laughs> anyway, then they reached out, um, I think it was the next day, saying that uh, himself and the other owners were in town and they wanted to meet with us for like an idea. And we met with them, we had dinner and they said that they had been planning on reaching out to us anyway and wanted to do a collaboration. Um, but yeah, it was because I was giving him a hard time for reading Jason's book is how it all came to be actually. It's pretty funny. I was like, God, I really want it today. So we went over to Pokemon, got some Pokey. Oh, you went to Pokemon and said a quick fish? Yeah. Nice, and then um, we're eating the Pokey and I was like, man, Rachel, I really wanted that like today. Yeah. So I called up a place that was like 700 feet away. He's like, if you come now, I can fit you in. All right. Yeah, I'm actually outside. I was like, oh, I'll be there in 37 seconds. Out. Yeah. Yep. You weren't scared of like, uh, it, like bombing it? Well, the thing is, it's not like, I mean, it's it, it's like a, a, a rough sketch tattoo-y type, like cartoon thing. Uh -huh. So I feel like you couldn't mess it up that bad. I, I mean, you I could mess it up. I feel like you, based off of my experience, that people can really mess up something that simple. They could. But I mean, he redrew it first. So if like he showed me his picture and it stunk, I was gonna be like, oh God, mom, my mom's on the phone, run away. I mean, I've been wanting, yeah. Just... Set up the camera. Run, run, run. Say cheese. Is that real? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when did you get this? Yesterday, around 8 p.m. <laughs> Wow, it's really good, thanks. Someone posted on Facebook and I was like, yep, I need that on me forever. Someone else did the same thing? No, they just posted the cartoon and I took the cartoon oh to the dude and I was like, uh. I mean, this is our life. Right? Is this not real life, for real? This is like the cartoon drawing of my video this morning. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's so cool, I love it. <laughs> yeah, where's the sticker at? Let me see. Two and a half inches. Babe, what about there? It has to be facing down though. So you, you don't... Yeah, right. the Noob. Rookie together. mistake. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm gonna get it. It's, and then... We're I'm, going tonight! I mean... Let's go! Load up. We're gonna have another arm. <laughs> All right, fine. Let's do it. I'm totally down. Every person sets the path for their personal story. This key represents our personal story. It's a part of our life now. You have to do it. Those now. are deep words. Because then there's that, and then I'm gonna get the dates of a wedding, Knox's birthday, and uh, I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna put that, but I'm totally down. All right, well, who are we gonna call? Is that, was that guy? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, call Dan. Let's call Dan. Okay, what yeah, other, sure. um, what other availability do you have this week, or is today the last of your Tomorrow, week? Today, we're about to go get tatted up. We're uh, first tattoo on this body. Uh, found something that has a lot of meaning. Gonna get that the SB key. But before, I have to come here and get some pokey. It's the only way to do it. 
feed the belly, and then go to really make sure you're making the right decision. You have to be on a completely full stomach. Oh yeah, right, eat up. <laughs>